color code says Unkid a stash here. My pleas for peace have been rejected by calls for violence. From, you know it, Spider-Man. And a... Get in the hang of this thing. I think I can pull that steam pipe up. my stash at the old radio station. I was wondering where I was. That station was the hottest ticket in Brooklyn for up-and-coming hip-hop artists back in the day. You and Pops get any airtime? We got close, but they bumped us last minute for this next-level group out of Staten Island. I still got your beats if you want them. <laughs> NYC ain't ready for a prowler spotty mixtape. Take it easy, kid. Hope Unk starts making music again. It would be a good distraction for him. That's perfect for Robbie. Ah, the Manhattan Bridge. Can you believe they started building it in 1901? Finished in 19... I think this is Pete's thing. Thanks, Miles. Science time. turbines are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, they are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the web wings. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. Here we go! Huh. Web wings alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Court and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel. Turn around. Fly free, little turbine. Kabam! One more. There we go. Great. They're all happily launched. I'll just head back. The turbine's been compromised? What? How? Need to check on that. Talon drones attacking the turbine. I've got to stop them. You guys again. I really wish we'd stop meeting like this. They have our way. Yeah. We want to. Uh, really? I'm in your way? Ah! <laughs> 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 
Okay, that's all of them. Now to get this turbine back in place. Ah! There, all up and running. I should make sure Dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these. You guys need help with that? Shouldn't you guys be in an hourglass or something? Be all clear now. Circling me, Mia. Oh, wishing I'd just stayed home with you, Kimia. Helped you with your homework. Made you the one meal that I know how to cook. But it's too late now. The hunters were after him. Echo fell right into their trap. But wait. Kimia's his kid? How did I not know about this? Just check back in on Marco. He's steadily improving, making more and more sense. He's even eating again. Doctors are hopeful. Good work. A sand crystal. More Marco memories scattered all over New York. If you can hear me, Marco, I'm not interested in a puppet show. I'm trying to help here. Sandman for his daughter. And Craven forced it out of him for a stupid hunt. place where everyone's comfortable calling out when something's wrong. People here sure hate admitting when they're wrong. The writer in me does love the irony, though. Come on! Can't you just give me the crystal and I'll be on my way? Sorry, guys! But I'm not leaving without that sand crystal! All 
right, Marco. What's going on in that head of yours? I tell them to leave us alone, but they don't care. They shoot me with a net, try to hold me down. And I was sad before I knew it. I'm so ashamed, but I had no choice. I gotta get back to you. Marco had to do something, or else he'd be just like Scorpion right now. Sand crystal? These things are everywhere. Ugh. Sorry to break it to you, but the beach is that way. Despite all appearances, this is no day at the beach. Finally, I lose the creep up this crystal and come peace. home. Walk through the front door, but you're not there. They are. What have they done to you, Kimia? Craven's real twisted for putting Marco's kid in the middle of all this. Gotta look for more crystals to find out what happened. Marco's memory is returning and he's agitated. The doctors are piecing together what happened. It sounds like it's not all his fault. I'll let you know if I hear more. Regularly scheduled programming. Sand crystal time. I start yelling, losing my cool. If they did anything to you, I can feel the sand about to take over. And then they splash me with some chemical. Don't know what it is, but trying my hardest to stay awake. I'm fading fast until I see black. Must have used some strong stuff to knock out Sandman. But what happened to Kimia? Chief. Thanks for coming. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. No. <laughs> Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. All right, 
I find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider-Man. Thank you. Hey, Clark. Did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Spider-Man's here. Ah! It's gonna be okay. <coughs> Whoa. to test out my pulse blast then. Anyone? I can't move! Help! Hang on. I'll get you out of there. <sighs> Thank you. Help's coming. Fire and Rescue knows where you are. They'll be here soon. Going to be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Clark, you should be getting a new location anytime now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. Any exercises again? There's someone there! My leg! I... I think it's broken! I'll get you out. One sec. Fire and rescue's on the way. Just try not to move. They'll have you out of here soon. Okay. Uh, thank you, Spider-Man. Looks like I need to go up. So it's field testing time for my latest upgrade. My insurance better cover this one, I swear. Hey, Clark. Did you get the last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. Somebody up ahead a few minutes ago. Purple jacket. Make sure you help them. Hey, Clark. I just sent a new location your way. But this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? I'm not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on it. Oh no. 
I didn't say anything to the police. Never, never even mentioned the flame. I just, I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. Get out of here! Fool's beacon! The prophecy said you face this adventure. Prophecy? Oh man, I've always wanted to be in one of those! Not crazy about the nickname though! So, what's my prophecy? Endless fighting? Death by building? Grow four arms and become a giant man spider? The bird with the rest of the unworthy! That's it? Oh, okay. Did anyone else hear that? Whoa, guys, can we take this outside? Is everyone okay? Besides me knocking you out, obviously? We are better than you ever will be. Who are you people? The only one is worthy enough to survive what's coming! Pretty sure this building is gonna fall apart before then! Eternal. Thanks. So, what's your deal? There you are. I never did like my smoking. Yuri? Well, life's called me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried... Where have you been? No time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Looks like Yuri took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her and the other on these cultists. I need more eyes. Coney Island. First off, the latest news from first responders is many injuries, but no fatalities. Small blessings. But we have got a lot of unknowns. Who perpetrated the attack? Who was the man who helped Spider-Man? I've got to be honest, folks. This is giving me not good flashbacks to the underground and rocks on brawls of last year. I was hoping that with two Spider-Men in town, we can steer away from more citywide chaos. Anyone who tells you these things happen for a reason should be cursed with wet socks forever. Oh, oh, watch when you cross. Watch gonna take your midterm to one seat. That's perfect. 
the Spider-Man aren't the only superheroes in New York. Getting students to class on time? One of the greatest powers I've ever seen. Not bad. My best friend's kid painted this. I remember her showing me a sketch of it the day before it went up. New York is nothing without its people. Are they joyriding? You're not allowed to drive joyfully in New York. Here in New York, we like our roads safe. Ish. Let's see what else this thing can do. What are you doing? Science, buddy. I'm doing science. <laughs> so, Spider-Man, you told MJ, but not your best friend? To protect you. I, I wanted to. Right. Yeah, I get it. And that kid you're tutoring, he's the other one? Uh, a lot happened while you were in that tank. Trust me, I know. <laughs> nice and gentle. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee. It looks like it's gonna be a long night. What the hell happened here? Um, we were, we were just, um, doing some experiments. Where's Dr. Connors? Um, uh, maybe he took the day off? No. He doesn't take days off. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call you later. I need a minute. Harry's got superpowers? This is all happening so fast. Wait, what's that? Hey guys, I'm getting a strange spider bot signal. You got that too? Uh, Genki, you testing something? I was just about to call you guys. A bunch of them just pinged the network out of nowhere. They're using some funky wireless protocols. I'll check it out and let you know what I find. It's loading info to the Spidey server. Got it. I'll keep an eye out for more. Send me the data when you find them. I'll try to track down who made them. Hey, long night. Hey, MJ. Harry and I stayed up doing tests on his suit. 
And we may have had too much pizza. It was really nice. <laughs> Just like the good old days. So I gotta know, what's Harry's radioactive spider? I've never seen anything like this before. It's some kind of exosuit that completely eradicates any trace of his disease. Dr. Connors really outdid himself this time. That's incredible. And great timing, considering what happened at the park. Any leads on where they might have taken Tombstone? Not yet, but if I hear anything, you're my first call. Oh, you're the best. Yeah, I know. Okay, what's next? We still haven't figured out who made that weird spider bot. I track the followers of the flame to an abandoned clinic in Chinatown. We go together, maybe we'll find their boss. So you can leave them to die too? Not unless I have to. Look, this cult needs to be stopped. You want to come along, it'd make things easier, but I don't need you. If I went, I could keep an eye on her. <laughs> Have you heard the one about the criminal who went to prison and came out a better person? Me either. But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. After his numerous crime sprees, <laughs> who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds. He finally landed himself where he belonged, behind bars. <laughs> now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. People do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I can think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast. something for you. Head to this location. Felicia? Hey, Felicia. Heard some chatter about the steel foundry in Williamsburg on the radio I swiped from those hunters. Sounds like tombstones there. He could use your help. Thanks. Glad you're all right. Did you make it to Paris in time? Yeah, I did. Figured I owed you one. Both of you. Even if the other Spider-Man couldn't be bothered to make an appearance. Uh, yeah. About... You can save the explanation. We've both moved on. He's a good one, by the way. He really is. Well, thanks for the tip. Not sure I'd be able to find Tombstone in time without you. Yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself. Those fashion school rejects won't be getting the drop on me again. Ta-ta, spiders. Miles, let me take this one. You're gonna miss your essay deadline. But what if... If Lee's there, I'll take care of him. Spider-Man can wait. Miles can't. All right. Just keep in touch. There it is. Should be able to move that, no problem. Can't hide from. 
for me. my backpack around here somewhere. Hey, Miles, what's up? Hey, good to see you. Man, I can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. Miles, glad you made it. Oh, hey, Mr. Sinclair. Oh, hmm. I just love seeing all this innovation in action. Oh, have you heard about the chemistry club? They're filling in while Miss Ferguson gets ready to demo the new robotics drone. She's running late. Presentation's on the main stage. Oh, yeah, I'll try to make it over there. Enjoy the show. Thanks. See you around. Miles, over here! Hey! If it isn't Morales, the music master. What's up, Delisai? You here to see that university rep, Mr. Atlas? Yeah, definitely. Nice astronomy booth. Thanks! You should stop by later. I made a 3D model of Saturn, but get this. <laughs> it's cake! I'll save you a slice. Hmm, thanks. Hey, you made it. I want to talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. She must get something from her car and then never came back. I just heard two words, missing in person, so I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. I gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I could find out more. Have any of her personal items? Yes. She left her phone behind. Is it unlocked? Have you seen any texts coming in or anything? Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps, wherever she is. The students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. Wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh man, gotta find Miss Ferguson first. 
Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Sent you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. <laughs> hey yo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work, and he asked for a phone call with you. Is uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki. But now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki! Hi. Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello. You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no. I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production, but it's been hard to find time lately. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable, trustworthy, someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay in touch, or, uh... <laughs> that could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to BV in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person and clarify some things. Those guys out of the way. Let's see where that tracker signal leads. Like I told you, I'm there she is. This glass looks pretty breakable. <laughs> I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. <laughs> Time to squash a spider. You're dead, Spider-Man. She's ours. You hide. I've got these guys.
don't believe it. You took them out by yourself? It's in my job description. <sighs> Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. Ugh. Consider this confirmation. Just try to tell a brother first. <sighs> Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. You are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the quad. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. 